Senator Corker, in recent weeks, I think it's fair to say you have been very skeptical of these negotiations. Now that you have seen the outlines of this deal, what do you think? Well, Chris, we just got the details this morning uh, about 20 minutes ago. But uh, look, I mean, uh, Iran has consolidated their gains and has some sanctions released. So look, uh, I think all of us want to see a dipl diplomatic solution here. I think it's now time for Congress to weigh in because I think people are very concerned that the interim deal becomes the norm and that's why I've crafted legislation. And by the way, there's bipartisan skepticism here. I've crafted legislation to hold the administration and the international community's uh, feet to the fire over the next six months to ensure that this interim deal is not the norm. But uh, look, I think we all greet it with skepticism. For instance, uh, this morning in the preamble, we see where they stated in the preamble there will be a mutually defined enrichment program. So, you know, the UN Security Councils uh, at a base level stated that Iran would not have the right to enrich, and yet it appears that we've already given a tilt. Uh, it looks like we've tacitly agreed that they will be enriching for commercial purposes down the road. So I think you're going to see on Capitol Hill again a bipartisan effort to try to make sure that this is not the final agreement because people know this administration is strong on announcements, very uh, long on announcements, but very short on follow through. And I think there's a lot of concern.